two weeks ago, I added an elevated subway line to my HO layout. It went pretty well, and I decided that what was missing was a station. So last week I started building one. The building was from scratch. It was mainly masonite and uh, parts, different, uh, different little parts and pieces that were used to put it together. Well, the station's now complete, and here it is. I modeled the station after the Avenue X stop of the F train here in Brooklyn. This is looking over the top, focusing on the northbound platform. Just a little closer shot for detail. The platforms were a bit of a challenge, but the real challenge was the station itself and the stairs leading from the street up to it. I shot a video of the uh, whole process of making the station from beginning to end. If you're into scratch building or curious about how this was done, keep watching. If not, this is a good time to sign off because uh, the rest of it gets kind of uh, techy uh, stuff. So anyway, uh, if you're going to be going, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. And now I really think this will be the last video for a while. If you decided to stick around, here's a video on how I scratch built an elevated subway line for a New York City subway train. I'm pretty new at uh, building model railroads, so I'm kind of making it up as I go along. Uh, I figured I'd uh, post a video <laughs> showing my... Uh, attempt at modeling a, uh, an elevated train station. And this is it. This is the area where the station is going to be. So I've started by removing some of the facing from the, uh, the side of the L in preparation for making the station. The intention of this video is not to tell you how to do something like this because as I said I'm making it up as I go along. I'm just documenting the steps that I'm coming up with uh, in order to do it and hopefully you'll be able to incorporate some of these things into uh, an attempt that you may have to do the same thing. I realized that I was going to have to attach the uh, station to the elevated structure which is made out of uh, channeling for uh, stud walls, or metal stud walls. And uh, what I did is I cut and uh, screwed in three blocks, which will be like a foundation for attaching the station. They are screwed in from the top, and that holds them in place. Next, I cut a piece of quarter-inch masonite, notched it all out where it was going to be needed, and this is going to be the base to the station. This will go under like this, and then I've made a second piece also out of quarter-inch masonite. This is going to be the facing to the, the, uh, the station. And there's also a little bit of an overhang, which will be the platform, because the platform comes out slightly over the uh, tracks.
working alone on a couple of pair of hands short. So I've taped the masonite to the uh, underside of the elevated structure, placed the three screws in it, and now that's solidly in place. I've attached the outer wall to the platform using uh, blue scotch uh, painter's tape. Uh, it's very handy stuff. It'll hold it in place until the glue sets. And I'm now going to glue the two sections together using super glue. I put a pretty nice bead of glue in place and now I'm just checking for alignment. I'll make any adjustments. Actually it stayed pretty well. By the way, the noise you hear in the background, that's the F train, an elevated subway line. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll give this about an hour to dry and then I'm going to remove the tape and I'm going to give another coating on the outside here of the glue. By the way, the brand that I found to work very well, it's called Loctite. It's available at Home Depot. Um, I'm sure it's available in other places, but it's a really good glue. Uh, works very well, and it's inexpensive. I cut the piece for the roof section overhang at a 45 degree angle, and again used the blue tape to hold it in place for gluing. I have some scraps from uh, the girders that I cut down. Uh, that was these girders and I cut this whole section off and put them on the side because you never know when you're going to need something and it turned out that I did need them. I'm going to trim these up and I'm going to use them for girders on the uh, station platform. This is the part with the rivets on it, and that's the one I want to use. And now I'm going to cut them down into smaller pieces. And the smaller pieces are going to be glued into place. Okay, here are the girders in place, the small ones that I just made out of the scraps. And the box girders on top came from a company called Central Valley. Their website is CVMW. Uh, let me zoom back a little. And this is the package showing uh, some of the uh, nice products they have. If you're doing scratch building, it's uh, a good place to look at. Actually, I found two of them. This one, uh, CMBW. Uh, I'm sorry, CVMW, and another one called Rusty Stumps. They make things like stair stringers, which I'll be using a little later, and they have a really nice um, roofing material. This is a foil roofing material. Now I'm going to use this on the station, so I painted one of the, the uh, sheets green to go with the uh, the color motif. I've started to put the smaller girders underneath the station platform. Uh, there are a number of different things that come in this package. There are large girders, small girders, and then there are the solid pieces. They're a little bit uh, dusty from all the dust I'm raising. Uh, these come uh, five sheets to a package.
This is the first test fitting of the station on the east side of the tracks. So far, seems to be going pretty well. There's still a lot of detailing to be done. The stairway has to be put in. The uh, station has to be built. Uh, I've got to complete the west side station. Well, I didn't care for the way the uh, stations looked with uh, the pitched roof, so I tore the roofs off, cut them down, and put them back as flat. Uh, you, you get a better view of the trains that way, and it seems to look a lot nicer. On to making steps. I'm using pictures from uh, a video that I took of the uh, station near me uh, as a model to you know help me build the uh, the whole station right now I'm working on the stairs for that I'm using a staircase that I built from rusty stumps they have some nice staircases there and for the girders, they'll be painted green eventually. For the girders right here and here, I'm using pieces that I got from, uh, from CVMW.com. These are girder pieces. And I'm using that. Right now, I'm going to be joining two of these pieces together using a, a thin strip of formica in the middle to uh, hold them. I'm going to be gluing them. And then the steps will go right inside of that. And that's going to make this part of the stairway. Okay, I've glued the two pieces of formica together. Right now I'm going to spray paint the uh, steps black. Always best to do this lightly. You don't want to overpaint them. I put the steps on the side to dry, and now I'm going to paint the uh, the frame of the stairs green to match the uh, rest of the structure. Again, light bursts. Next up, I'm going to be making the uh, girders at the entrance of the stairway. You take two of them and you put them together and you glue them in place. So I'm going to glue these two up. I'm going to do the ends first and then when that dries I'm going to run a bead of glue along the edges and that'll give me a box girder. Okay, the glue on the girders are pretty well dried. So now I'm going to be running a bead down the edges because I'm going to have to cut this up into pieces. Uh, generally you want to be pretty uh, neat with your gluing. Truth is I don't care that much because these are going to be cut up and cleaned up a little bit and then they're going to be painted. So if I mar the finish a little it'll just add to the aged look. So far the stairs have been a real bag of laughs. I guess the fun's going to be getting them to fit exactly right to the uh, edge of the station platform. But they seem to be coming along pretty nicely so far. I'm starting to put the uh, subroof into place now. Uh, that's going to be covered with um, foil and with um, girders on the edge. Uh, I'm using masonite cut into, uh, you know, the appropriate size pieces. Again, I can't stress enough what I'm doing here. It's kind of making it up as I'm going along. I'm not suggesting you follow this. It's just the way it's evolving. Well, the steps are pretty well finished. Um, they're looking good. And miraculously, they actually fit in place. So, with the platforms done, 
pretty much is the stay away on one and the steps are in place and as I said they fit pretty well and now it's time to start working on the station which will go right in here I think when you start modeling on this level, scratch building especially, you get a little bit crazy. Um, in all probability, once the wall and the gates and the, the, the whole mess is all in place, you're probably not going to see any of this. But, at least I know it's there. And that's the uh, gets a little crazy part. So, that'll be the inside of the station for whatever that's worth. And again, the steps heading down to the street. As I mentioned earlier, I'm working uh, with photographs that uh, I took of the Avenue X station of the F line here in Brooklyn. I'm starting to make the front of the station and that's the three doors and there's a couple of windows and uh, we're going to start on that. As is usual, I got a little carried away. I've been involved uh, with putting this station together. And I forgot to uh, document a lot of the steps, but the stairs are done. The station is almost completed. Uh, and uh, I'll zoom in a little closer to give you a look. Here's the stairs in place. And here's the, uh, the outside of the station. I'm just in the process now of putting the gates in. Uh, you can see the stairway on the right going up to the platform. And there's a couple of doors. And you got some windows back there. Uh, I'll take another uh, shot when I get the gates all finished and that'll pretty much do it. Well, the fence is all in place and after a couple of days of making the platforms and a couple of days of making the station it looks like my L work is done for a while and now it's back to the rest of the layout thank you very much for watching bye